to us from Jose Martinez, who asks, um, he entered a local photography contest a few years ago, and his photo was the winner. Um, and now he's seen that his photo is on a local attorney's website. Um, and he's asking, would it be wrong or inappropriate to contact the attorney and request at least that the picture be credited to me? What do you guys think? I think it would not be wrong. I think he should contact the attorney because who, however the attorney got the picture, whether he purchased it from somewhere, then that means someone's out there selling his picture for possibly a profit. So I would definitely get in contact with the attorney. And he's an attorney, so hopefully he would, you know, have an idea about copyright laws and things like that. Yeah, I'd say the only way it's okay for this guy to have, the attorney to have used it was if they were like the sponsor of the photo contest or something. And you kind of knew it could end up being used by the attorney. Other than that, you should work out how to get compensation for it. Yeah, I, I, if, if he doesn't have a license to use the photo, if the attorney doesn't, uh, then no, you shouldn't ask for credit. I think you should send him an invoice. That's, uh, you know, you deserve to be paid for your work. And especially an attorney... It's not okay. An attorney should right. know better. Uh, no matter what kind of law you practice, an attorney yeah. should know that you can't just take somebody else's copyrighted work just for kicks and giggles. But I will say to be very careful before you do this. Um, I was once in the situation that made me extremely angry uh, where I had purchased a stock photo um, on, um, what was it? Uh, Pixoto. Pixoto uh, sells stock photos. And somebody had listed their, you know, posted their photo and clicked that, yes, you can sell this as stock. So then somebody can go purchase the photo and use it. Um, and then the, the photographer gets a, a, some of the money from the purchase, right? So I purchased the photo. I used it on the website. And then this dude, I, I can't remember who it was, or else I'd call him out right now. Uh, this photographer starts posting all kinds of crap about me online, about how I'm stealing people's photography and claiming it is mine and all this stuff. And I just responded with a receipt uh, for the photo and said, excuse me, you're going to have to go apologize. And he was like, well, <laughs> I didn't know that you'd purchased it. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not my job to post a receipt every time I use a stock photo. If you're putting your photo as stock, you can expect it's going to end up all over the web. That's what a stock photo is. You put it up there and a lot of people can buy it and put it in not unrestricted, but you can use it in a lot of different ways when you put your photo up for stock. So the reason I'm saying that is you entered it into a contest. Make sure that this attorney wasn't, you know, a sponsor of the contest and that he did have a license for sponsoring the contest that you agreed to, that kind of thing. Make sure, you know, before you go accusing people that you're in the right. Uh, but but if you are in the right, you should send an invoice. That's That's not rude it, it's rude of them to take your work without payment especially somebody who knows better and so send an invoice you know whatever you would have charged to put it on the website you don't have to be exorbitant about this uh 75 dollars 500 dollars whatever whatever you think would be an appropriate um uh cost uh, if they would have purchased this photo send an invoice i think that's totally the right thing to do